Asus has revamped its flagship 17.3-inch gaming laptop since we last reviewed it. Besides a refreshed design, the ROG Strix Car 17 packs the latest Intel Alder Lake Core i9 processor and NVIDIA's refreshed Jefferson RTX 3000 series graphics. Paired with a high-resolution screen and quite cooling fans, its most glaring omission is a webcam, but if you can live without that, this big screener rolls out the red carpet everywhere else, even earning good marks in our battery life test. It's our editor's choice honorary among high-end 17.3-inch gaming laptops. The 2022 model of the Strix Car 17 is merely a refresh, with very little of its exterior changed from its predecessors. It still doesn't have a webcam, for example. Most of the focus was on making significant upgrades to its internals. It's a speed machine, with 32 gigs of fast DDR5 RAM, a powerful NVIDIA RTX 3070T graphics card, and Intel's Core i9-12900H processor built-in. And to see all of that power on display, well, depending on the games you play, a 17.3-inch QHD panel has a fast 240Hz refresh rate. The ROG Strix Car 17's hulking, edgy chassis pegs it as an archetypal gaming laptop. Traveling with this beast, it's 6.4 pounds and measures 1.1 by 15.6 by 11.1 inches, isn't something you'll want to do every day, and don't forget to factor in another 2 pounds for its 280 watt power adapter. That said, its size isn't necessarily a con. This laptop does have enough room for an expansive 17.3 inch screen, after all. It's just something to realize going in. Bell quality meets expectations. The lid is metal while the rest is thick and sturdy plastic. The chassis is chock full of details, including a see-through diagonal on the right half that shows the internal frame. There's also what Asus calls a customizable armor cap, the gray-colored, rock embossed piece at the back left corner of our unit. It slides off, and can be switched out for other designs. Two armor caps are included, one opaque and one dark. As for port selection, there's a headphone jack alongside two USB-A ports around the left side. On the back side, there's a proprietary power connector, a 2.5 GB per second Ethernet jack, an HDMI 2.1 port, and two Thunderbolt 4, USB 4 Type-C ports. Cinematic gaming is the ROG Strix Car 17's forte. Its expensive 17.3-inch screen has a native 16x9 QHD 2560 by 1440 pixel screen resolution, which shows 50% more detail than Full HD. Otherwise, I have no complaints about the display. The configuration that I'm testing has a 17.3-inch QHD IPS panel with a 240Hz refresh rate. It supports 100% of the DCI-P3 color gamut, and its 300 nits of peak brightness make it just bright enough to read when it's basking in natural light from a window. Asus offers a 1080p display option for the Strix Car 17, but QHD is the right resolution for a 17-inch gaming laptop. 4K is still too demanding on even the best mobile hardware. By comparison, QHD isn't as much of a challenge, yet it still looks nearly as good as 4K, not to mention, it looks dramatically better than 1080p. The $2,499 ROG Strix Car 17 seen and tested here, Model G733 ZWXS96, has a 2.5 GHz, 5.0 GHz Turbo, Core i9-12900H processor, an 8 gigs NVIDIA Jeffers RTX 3070T graphics card, a 1TB SSD loaded with Windows 11 Pro, a MediaTek MT7922 card providing Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2, and a 1-year warranty. Our unit has 32 gigs of DDR5 memory, though production models have 16 gigs. This laptop is user upgradable to 64 gigs via 232 gigs so DIMM. Asus lists other configurations starting at $1,999 on its website, including ones with AMD processors, though most aren't currently available stateside. The ROG Strix Car 17 also sports NVIDIA's refreshed RTX 30T series graphic silicon, specifically a Jeffers RTX 3070T with 8 gigs of dedicated GDDR6 memory. This implementation is rated for 125 watts of total graphics power plus up to a 25 watt boost by enabling the laptop's turbo feature. That's a respectable amount of wattage for a laptop GPU. The Strix Car 17 talks a big game about bringing what gamers want, and its specs mostly deliver on that promise. Cyberpunk 2077, currently one of the most system-intensive PC games, can run at almost 50 frames per second, with QHD resolution, ultra graphics settings, and ray tracing settings switched on. That result is about 17 FPS shy of what the 2022 Razer Blade 17's RTX 3080T was capable of. This is in a laptop that costs $1,500 less. In terms my GPU Z logs showed the Jeffers RTX 3070T hovering between 80 to 82 degrees Celsius, and the Core i9 to 12900H in the mid 70 degrees Celsius range, both acceptable. The GPU bore power draw varied between 115 and 130 watts, jumping to 150 watts, 
after I enabled the turbo mode. The GPU ran slightly cooler in turbo, around 78 degrees Celsius, which makes sense since the fans run faster. The fans are impressively quiet either way, you could easily game on this laptop in a living room without disturbing others. That's not a claim many gaming laptops can make. It's practically a given that any powerful gaming laptop will have not so great battery life. And unfortunately, that's the case here. This 90 watt hour battery can last about 3 and a half hours under normal use, which I define as running a dozen or so browser tabs, music streaming, and a chat app like Slack. On the brighter side, you can recharge this year's Strixcar 17V USB-C, up to 100 watt with a USB-C PD charger. Previous versions of this laptop all but required you to tote around its large and hefty 280 watt power brick. So long as you don't plan on gaming on the go, USB-C recharging is a viable option. Asus's ROG Strixcar 17 nails what a high-end gaming laptop should be. It has performance in abundance thanks to its Intel Alder Lake Core i9 CPU, DDR5 memory, and Nvidia Geforce RTX 30T graphics. It also surprises with all-day battery life and quiet fans, and it excels just about everywhere else. If you can live without a webcam or are willing to use an external one, the ROG Strixcar 17 is the high-end gaming laptop to beat. Guys, I think this video was interesting. If you have questions, then write in the comments below. Also subscribe to the channel. Have a nice day, and see you soon.